Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Rule the Waves 2 as Japan episode number something, maybe 12. So we're, uh, actually I was looking at the almanac and we're doing pretty well with respect to everyone. Numbers are pretty well balanced. The only one we're enormously ahead in is submarines. And the only one we're enormously behind in, I would say, is battle cruisers. Maybe dreadnoughts. I mean, capital ships are we're, we're quite a bit lower than a lot of the other people. And it's funny because this has been a complaint about Rule the Waves 2 is that fleets are a bit top heavy. And I've actually, I've actually maintained a pretty balanced fleet somehow. Um, although, you know, I think if this was real life, we'd have more cruisers. Um, I just feel like this game undervalues the roles of escorts and cruisers. And, you know, there's a lot of missions outside of the, the big gun duels. Uh, anyway... I still have my Trump card, which is my truck card. It's actually Rabul, thanks to the people who have corrected me on this. So this, we still own truck, which is part of the Caroline Islands. And we have lost Rabul, which is Simpson Haven, I think. I don't, I remember, oh, there's, it's called Henderson Field? It's called Henderson Field? It was called Henderson Field? I didn't know it was called Henderson Field before World War II. <laughs> I didn't know that. I really did not. I thought that the, the Marines called it Henderson Field. Uh, huh, that's crazy. I did not know that. Anyway, um, so let's just go ahead and push on. Ah, that's right, I had a ship design to make. Um, interested in buying the rights, we will give it to them because we don't expect to fight or be interested in fighting the Italians pretty much ever. We do have an aircraft that's... Oh. Okay, I don't know, I guess I forgot to get a new research going. We'll take range as our first priority, speed as our second. I think that you could probably go range speed, you could go range reliability. Actually, I think reliability can even be a second. Why did I just hit and turn again? We'll be building a, a ship very soon. Maybe this is the turn, though, that we get torpedo technology. Nope, nope, it's not. So, um, the reason why I was looking at the almanac was... Oh, boy, one sec. Okay, there it is. It got buried somehow. The reason why I was um, looking at the Almanac was because uh, I was trying to figure out if we really need more destroyers. So we have a pretty sizable number compared to almost anyone except for the British, who have just gone off the wild end and have 65. <laughs> that's, quite, that's quite a showing from the Brits. But they do have three times our budget, so we are expecting some big things from them. I, I just really feel like the next ship I have to build is going to have to be... A dreadnought. I really think it is time, and I hate the fact that this is going to happen. I hate the fact that this would happen without fire or torpedo defense too. I'm very, very loath to have it happen without torpedo defense too. But I, I can't see any way around it at this point. We don't have all or nothing armor. 1916. I think we should be due to get it pretty soon. Maybe not right away. Take that down. Just don't care about those. Down, we'll put three for that. And secondaries can drop down to two. We need um, some tonnage left over. What are we dealing with here? We have four. Yeah, we can only get 14 inch guns. So this is going to have to be a high rate of fire vessel. Getting 10 broadside. It's it's possible. This could be a stopgap measure. You might even want to try to take down the size. 22 knots is what I'm comfortable with, especially for a coal firing ship. We no longer need torpedoes on these vessels. Um, take doubles? No, oh, okay. Take the singles. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so we, we are looking at a ship here, which is, I would say, viable. Twenty-two 
12, 3, 2.52. <clears throat> 13, 3, 2. It's all kind of lining up nicely. It does look pretty nice. Even 10 six inch guns per side is really nice. It's a shame that they are not quality one. And I wish we could pretend to get torpedo defense too, so I would know how much tonnage we would need to leave, um, leave for it. And I guess that we can just, I'm, I'm still hoping, I'm gonna drop this down. Oops, not that, this. I'm still hoping against hope that we can get, um, what do we have, what's the limit? We're gonna run into the limit eventually. 36, so this should violate it. No, I guess it's 38. I'm, I'm very confused now. I am very, very confused. Okay, we we're only allowed to have 40. Wow, that's a lot. <laughs> Um, we'll make these four inch guns and then drop it down. Boy, that's a lot. This is gonna have some very good fire, um, some, what is it called, uh, dual purpose anti-aircraft guns when the time comes. I'm feeling like this is actually a pretty viable ship. How would we make room for a torpedo defense too? I don't know. In fact, we may not even. Should we think about dropping some things down? I don't often look at the arc. Let me actually take a look at the arcs here. Because we're going to be coming under fire from 16 inch guns. Uh, probably those 16 inch guns. I don't. Will it, will it let me look at this? Yeah, no. I just want to see what would happen. Uh, I don't think that we're going to be able to penetrate. I heard that we'll be stopping any penetration from 16 inch guns. So our fighting zone is 13 to 16,000 that we're against quality zero 14 inch guns. Yeah, that's pretty weak. The maximum range of these guns, 19,200. 12 inch belt, two and a half inch deck. It's a pretty light deck even. I kind of feel like dropping the belt a little bit because we're already hosed, in my opinion. Okay, what I think we'll do is we'll put this here at 11.5. We have good enough turrets to last. It's a pretty good ship. <laughs> That's what you want. That's the vote of confidence in a ship. <laughs> well, yo, know, how is it? Oh, it's it's pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty good. So this is going to become the. Gachimuchi class. And I think I'm going to go ahead and save it and design it. <sighs> okay. Um, allow it. And we'll also probably want to design a destroyer as well. Because Destroyers are still fun. We also still want, I'm, uh, people did comment about the armored cruiser I'm building that it's interesting at the very least. <laughs> I had people interested. We'll see how it goes. <clears throat> I'm not like, you know, completely confident in, in, in its success. I, you know, I wouldn't have built it if I didn't think it had a, you know, a prayer of a chance. I think it does. This one always backwards. Get me every time. Oh well, whatever. I'm not gonna bother. So this one has five, four or five inch guns. I don't think we need that many. Now, I think we can, I don't know if we need to put the second, the other guns on. Yeah, we're not trying to build double mounts. So 32, I do, I like, I like more 
cheap destroyers because they just they die so quickly. Those these poor things they just go off and they die without anybody the wiser. <laughs> this is a joke, of course. I get them killed is what happens. Um, yeah, so it's possible for us to invest in some secondaries guns here. We don't need we do not need them in doubles. Okay, so this is something. It certainly is something. Okay, we'll get away with 165 rounds. These will be a little bit light on the ammunition, but hopefully they won't be in... I don't think they'll be in combat that long. They probably won't survive very long, so... Um, what's the disadvantage of this? It's only a speed of 32, and I think that... I think it would be a fair assessment to say that speed of 33 would be good on these. Um, I think I like it though. I've just been kind of living and dying with this six torpedo, three doubles center line, two guns, two five inch guns. This has been like the same design over and over and over again. It kind of reminds me a little bit of designs in the interwar period of historical nations like France. They kind of built this design and they just stuck with it. They made modifications, but they kind of stuck with it. Now I think they've actually varied to a different line of destroyers at some point and then built like modifications of that for a while. But it kind of reminds me of that, and I think the U.S. was all over the map. I, I, I think that they had a, a large variety of things. They were pushing and pulling. Okay, X lighters and invasion capability is good. We have some fighter ready. We will go to the build screen for this. I don't think it's even worth looking at it. Look at all these destroyers we're building. <laughs> we'll get six of them. I'm going to need to save a little bit of budget for the Dreadnought, which should be coming out two more months. Quality Control 2. I don't know what that means. <sighs> One more month. This is it. If we don't get it this month, it's over. We will not have damage control. Oh, we're at, stuck at freaking level 4 on this. Jeez, come on. I don't think we need anti-aircraft artillery quite yet. We will work on that eventually. Um, yeah, I think we have a good... We have the things on high that we need on high. Medium range submarines. This one we might put down to low now that we have mediums. Okay, I want one more research tech from it, and then we'll put it on low. National hero. Okay, let's see what we have for float planes. 90, 76, the same. 81, better range. Worse maneuverability, better toughness. I don't think maneuverability matters too much. Yeah, we'll take this last one. The Kawanishi XS5. Plus it has the highest number. It must be the best. Okay, let's rework the design, see what we have. What? Oh, we left the belt. Of course, we left the belt because we were hoping against hope that our prince would come. Well, you know, I think we're going to lower the displacement instead of, like, I think we're just going to go. I mean, if, if we have to build this ship without torpedo protection too, I think the only way to um, kind of triage such an expensive project having such a big vulnerability is by trying to cut cost a little bit and we can do that just by lowering displacement so we're at 121.2 okay so we got it down from 121.2 to 119.5 so we saved about 2 million it didn't mount to much but I think it's worth doing. I think it is. The other idea is we could have put the belt back up to 12 inches, but if it's so, usually, okay, let's just, I, from my history, I know I don't often lose ships from gunfire. I very rarely lose ships to gunfire. I very often lose ships to torpedoes. So that kind of 
you know, I, I have lost some ships to flash fires and things like that, so I think having high turret armor is still very important. Especially, I mean, that's just kind of how you win the fight, right? You, your turrets, you don't want them getting knocked out. It's a very defensive, very defensive format. I think that um, another thing we could have done instead is like knocked off the rear turret. We could we could still do this. We could go with like a, a much more aggressively strategic battle uh, strategic dreadnought, which would be knocking off the um, aft superimposed. What is going on here? What was I? I'm sure the people were screaming, but I caught it. <laughs> Anyways, this is what I mean before adding the V. This is what I mean if we went with something like this. It's possible we could do something like this. It's a huge weight savings. So it would basically amount to a huge, enormous reduction in cost. Um, we could even get the belt back up if we wanted this, you know, for this. Drop this down. I don't even think it would be classified as the same ship. It'd probably be a completely new design. So instead of that, we'll add the V back. So are you saying it doesn't recognize this as I don't know if it recognizes this as a new class. It might be recognizing this as a new class. Let me try to open design again. Let's see what happens. Okay, so what if I add the V? Delete the X. It truly is a new class. Wow. All right, well, if that's the case, then we might as well just go crazy with it. In fact, I, I think it might even be less of a change if we don't add the other turret, which is odd. No, I think it counts no matter what. So you don't get a chance to redo the, you have to do the full redesign now at this point. We get one chance to re, to tweak it, and now that's that that's over with. So what we could do is do a three, three triples, triple, triple, triple. The problem with these, I mean, with 22 knots, it's not gonna run away from a whole lot. I'm starting to lean towards this now. This is the, we're, we're spiraling down my um, stair, my death spiral into over analytics. 14 inch guns though, I think you need more firepower with those to make them effective. In fact, it almost makes me think, we don't have improved triples, do we? I mean, okay, forget about trying to get that done. Do we have improved triples? Triples, but not improved triples. But I think we might get improved triples. Man, this is tough. Ah, yeah, I think there's, you could make a case a lot of different ways here. We're gonna delete this. 1556, let's just compare the difference. How much am I sweating here? I'm literally sweating 15 tons. You're probably sure just better off. <sighs> yeah, you're probably better off not caring. I am probably gonna do this. It's cheaper, I can get more. More is better. <laughs> um, it's pretty insane how, how significant because I you know we're only saving 10 million for two extra guns so it's an increase from nine to a no it's only an increase of one gun what am I talking about so it's a 11 percent increase for a eight percent drop in cost sorry it's a eight percent sorry <laughs> 11% increase in damage for uh, like a 9% increase in cost to go from this 333 to the 3223. <clears throat> Does have larger belt. Gosh, that 23rd knot is actually pretty achievable. I 
this does feel like more like a battle cruiser setup. The 3223 would feel a lot more like a battle cruiser setup at least. Which is another option. I guess with coal I don't want to do that. I'm really all over the map. I mean the the irony is I probably made this maintenance cost more than it would be on the other one just by increasing the the speed. But boy, it's just not much of a difference. So I, I can't really justify not taking the 23 knots. I don't know if that'll ever have an effect, <laughs> but okay, okay, okay. I'm talking myself into this now. 32, 43, so we can get central, no problem. Everything looks pretty okay. We can always drop down the tertiaries if we need a little bit of extra room. I think this is what we're going with. We'll spend a little bit more money, and I'm going to go ahead and build maybe just a few of those. They're trying to tease me. 15 quality with negative 1. I'm not interested in that. We'll build some docks because we are pretty high up on money. It's going to change very soon. Oh, boy. We were too late. 23, 137. Two twenty-three, one thirty. Oh my God, it's pretty brutal. We got better armor control, which means we have to redesign that one anyway. Gosh, <laughs> three hundred sixty-three. I think we'll leave her at thirty-one five. Try this again. Okay, only one month this time it it worked. And let's just start cranking on the submarines. I guess I will get a few. Let's just get 12, so 16. I think this one is 14, yeah. So they are two months cheaper. Okay, that's fine. Okay, rework the design, everything is fine, looks good. Oh, we got another weight savings? I wasn't really paying attention, but was it 90 before? I think we're just gonna be okay with it though. All right, come out here. Let's get two of you. It's what I get for trying to, you know. Oh yes, we need that. Which means that just because I might just let the, I'm so frustrated by the Navy getting their money stolen away to the Army. I might even just let our budget go into the negative and just eat huge amounts of prestige lost. <laughs> anyway, we need to start reworking everything, which means everybody, everybody's going to have to go to, uh... oh, I've even forgot that these guys haven't seen action and they're uh, cross deck fire. Yeah, we're gonna lose money very quickly. So these being refit means that we don't need to worry about them coming back. Wow, these are terrible. These are, if these come up against any, anything, they're dead. We need to hide these. Oh my goodness. Oh man. I'm not even sure this is worth the money. Yeah, I think I will reclassify this because, no, 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 no. Because if I do that, they'll be smoked even more. They'll be put up against dreadnoughts. <laughs> I think I'm going to forgo that for just a little bit and let my, let me, let me think about what I'm doing there. Is it worth it to upgrade these? How expensive is this? Four months, 1.3. It doesn't seem that bad. Five million per. I think we can handle that. Um, you have, oh, you do. Okay, well, I don't know how long you're sticking around, but. These guys all needed refits anyway. 14 mil million, can we push it even further? No, I don't think so. But these guys who are obsolete, I think we will get them going. 
I don't think they're going to need anything. In fact, one, two, three, four. So this is a four... Eh, I guess we won't scrap these guys. They'll be scrapped soon enough in combat. <laughs> it's kind of interesting to think. I have this trump slash truck card, which is, as I said, the Ravul card. So to this trump card, declaring war at any moment, um, it's kind of nice. It's, it's, I mean, it's, who am I kidding? It's really, really, really nice. One of the main benefits I see is that the British won't be able to react to, to us by sending over ships. So if there's ever a moment where we see like some battleships and stuff in these areas, we got to pull the trigger so we hit them at port. Okay, well, then at least we've taken care of our budget surplus. Yeah, we'll sell this. So we must be really far ahead on destroyer stuff. Put it down to low, I think. Ah! Okay. All good things. It's going to help with our minus 40% rate of fire penalty for the battleships. Okay, they're coming out. Lots of stuff is happening. We still have a few more months here. I think we'll be okay. A lot of these things are gonna be finishing. Uh, we do need to cycle new things back in. Our very, very old light cruisers. But I think that, it, I've said this many times before, the protected cruisers, they, they do, they, they last pretty well. They hold up pretty well until the end. You probably only need to replace them when aircraft become a, a serious problem. Yeah, we just don't have anything to fight these these ships. Okay, they gave us an improved model. We're not going to build them anyway. It's going to be a bit tight with the budget. Oh. You've done that again. <laughs> Daihatsu barges? <laughs> I didn't know that they make it nation specific. Okay, so we are gonna need to refit everything, I imagine. 1911, it's 1918. This is probably all just a situation of throwing a new coat of paint. More paint. Uh, and when things get back onto active duty, we want to put them into reserve fleet. This Kurama, out of all the things I might scrap, I think I'm going to scrap this guy. He's not going to make a, re a refit. Maintenance of six. I don't think he is earning his keep anymore. So we will scrap you. Goodbye, sweet prince. Good night. Yes, apparently I forgot to mothball some of these. Oh, no, I didn't. They're just in Southeast Asia. Um, we have a few of these that weren't refit. These were built in 1915, though. That explains it. So we have a lot of ships here. How many is this? 14. So we need 14. Well, I guess we'll just refit all of them at the same time. Can we do that? Rebuild to the 1910 <laughs> version. <laughs> And then when they come back, we'll redo the other ones. I guess we'll have to do them again. I just don't want to have to refit things multiple times, like what I just had to do. Yep, by all means. 
Italy is like our closest friend in this regard. They can buy whatever they want. Okay, let's put this to reserve fleet. Reserve fleet. Reserve fleet. It's very bizarre. I don't know what to do with these ships because they are not good against anything which is a battle cruiser, and they probably will only face battle cruisers. But they definitely have a great chance of facing them. Docks complete. Our budget has balanced out just perfectly right as we got to nothing. Um, no, we won't consider concessions. Screw the British. Early air launch torpedoes. Okay, this is actually good. This is actually quite good. I think that means we can now build torpedo bombers. Range and reliability. I don't think anything else matters. <laughs> Range and reliability. Maybe speed, but... Oh, this is the first one of our new guys. By the way, why don't we have director firing yet? It's a little bit disconcerting. Okay, well, good luck to them. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Ah, excellent. Oh, Gary, we might need to fix this uh, misspelling. Better ASW. Hmm, okay, so now we have 14. We will rebuild them to this version. And then those 14 will head to Southeast Asia to cover for the other ones while they get their refit, which is definitely overdue. I, I kind of thought we would be going to war in this one, but it doesn't appear to be the case. Okay, well, keep going. Ah, our shipbuilding industry has developed considerably and is now on par with that of other nations. Ah, oh, that's really nice. Okay, so hopefully less ships that are coming in under speed, which has happened to us a couple times already. Thankfully, it didn't happen with the armored cruisers because their own, their, their lifeline is their speed. Oh, yeah, it's a pretty silly design. I don't know if that's going to be worth the money we spent on it, but we'll see. We will see. Six, eight inch guns. It definitely can take out a light cruiser. I just hope it has a chance to run away from the faster, the faster enemies that might pursue it. Okay, we got those coastal submarines. Light AA weapons have now been enabled. Um, let's get some more coastal submarines. Maybe six, and then also build uh, six more of these. Oh yeah, we're at 70 for our reliability. This is actually quite good. So we're gonna just, in fact, no, let's wait a little bit, but we'll, we'll continue to do that. Triple bottom, quality zero, 13. Not having much luck with the gun quality stuff. All right, so this is 14, this is 15, so we don't need you. There they go. Everyone here, we have a few of them still. A few of them are still on active fleet. I think I'm still trying to keep their crew quality high. <laughs> oh yeah, we added these are the ones that don't have six inch guns. That's right. Okay, that's fair. We have quality zero four inch guns. It's a little bit weird and certainly depressing. So who doesn't have the quality? I guess I have to open design for all these. Who doesn't have the, the correct quality guns? 
Man, these are 12 inch guns. Jeez, we're really behind the curve. We got these, this is torpedo defense. We have had, uh, we are not very lucky when it comes to research this game. Yikes. Only one. You do, I know. And then, yeah, nothing else has it. So we really want a new light cruiser, I think. Let's just compare. Ah, battle cruisers. Okay, I think we need a battle cruiser, but I'm not going to build a battle cruiser. I'm just going to build a fast battleship. Maybe 27 knots. Should be fast enough. 26 might even do it. We're not going down the historical Japanese line, which was speed. Um, we're going to settle for something else. Submarines, really. <laughs> That's what we're going to settle for. Um, tensions are rising. Triple tubes. Yes. Okay, torpedo prototypes. Fastest. Ooh. Well, not the longest range. But they can carry torpedoes, which is all I care about. It's 86 versus 91. I don't think that's a big deal. It's five nautical miles. We only care about the heavy range. I mean, technically light is used for scouting. For, okay, but they, this actually has much better maneuverability and toughness. I am gonna go ahead and give this one the nod then. Mitsubishi, you've been awarded the contract. Congratulations. All right, we just don't have to worry about money getting too high for a while. Gosh, we really do need to go to a war though because I feel like we need to, we've only been in like two wars this whole time. Winning wars is how we're gonna end up increasing our, our budget. Right on time, unexpected advances, okay. Oh, that was a that was a big jump. Let's get some more of these and some more of these. In fact, <laughs> get some more of more of these and get some more and more of these. So I have a feeling we're going to need them very, very, very soon. Okay, um... Get everyone mobilized. Wow, wow. Where are the British? They do have some battleships here. We need some destroyers here. Okay, so let's get any short range. I think the short range should go to Southeast Asia. I'm sure that we will want them there for all time and, and eternity. The reason why I say that is because um, if we do end up taking Wei Hai Wei, which should be a surprise invasion, hopefully right at the very start. We might be able to move out of Northeast Asia. Oh, I forgot to get these guys. Well, a little bit late to be doing this. Whoa, no, 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 rebuild, rebuild, just rebuild. And actually, can I build the 1918 version? So I really wish there was a way to build the 1918 version so that I don't have the same problem where I have to like step through everything and it's kind of annoying. I might, I, I'll probably, what I'll probably do is just, I'll end up building a new class. And we may need to do that. Spend a little bit of money on the docks. Okay, who goes where? This is the, this is the big thing. I think we want a lot of our battle hardened ships or what I hope will be our battle hardened ships. I'm gonna move these all down to Southeast Asia. I'm gonna protect our battle cruisers by leaving them at home. <sighs> short range, these are short range. That means I'm, <sighs> this is weird. It's just so weird, but I, I think I'm gonna move these into Southeast Asia as well. It's very weird. But they're short range ships and I'd rather them get stuck in Southeast Asia. We can put all these other ships. I mean, it's kind of weird because Stop using the word weird, but if we get blockaded in Japan, which is quite possible to happen, um, we will obviously want our battleships there. 
How long until these are 20 months away? Okay, I I will cancel this order to move. What is happening? I don't know how to, uh, my game is bugged. It's bugged. Oh god. Um Damn it. Okay, well, we the game has decided for us that they did the the, the sorry, the command has gone out. The orders have gone out. They've already the ship has sailed. Literally the ships have sailed. <laughs> Whoops. I think we're going to have enough ships. We should be okay. I'm going to leave the light cruisers in um, Northeast Asia to keep the armored cruisers isolated. No light cruisers with them. Hopefully to increase their chance of getting into light cruiser battles, since that's surely what they need to be getting into. Um, I think I'll also move the Yukazis down to Southeast Asia. We have quite a few really, really powerful destroyers that are going to stick around. So we'll do something like this. Well, the moment of truth, it's here. No, nothing there. Nothing so far. Gives our crew quality a little bit of time to, to increase. Actually, it gives us time to move these guys back. Let's see what the British have. Locked away, battle cruiser. Yeah, they don't have much here, so I'm I'm actually okay then. I hope we get a surprise invasion, and then I guess uh, one way of viewing it. Uh, I I really don't know what the best thing to do is. I do feel incredibly underpowered as a nation with only two old dreadnoughts, four pre dreadnoughts, and three. You can't even call these battle cruisers. This is this is the Japanese Navy, <laughs> Tortogo. What have you done? Oh, uh, we need the Gachimuchis, which are themselves not that great. They're they're just everything's a compromised ship. Oh my gosh, it's it's bad. It's not good. The British have, in th throughout their the last few years, managed to scrap their entire what was that like 40, 30 battleships? They've been scrapped the entire thing. We have almost we have, we probably have too many destroyers, but hey, we we know that that's probably not a thing. There's no such thing as too many when you're in the Admiral Tortogo's navy. I'm really happy with the submarine count. Of course, that's where a lot of our budget is going right now. Eh, the maintenance of them is not so high, but torpedo protection two. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? I think it's like a 19... Oh, I want to say 1908 tech. So even with the 80%, that would put it at 1910, 1911. No, it would put it at 1910. Yeah, we're almost double the amount of years <laughs> into the game as uh, as we should have already researched. Why do we even have this at 12%? What does it matter? It doesn't seem to do anything. Hmm. I know that we're getting along in time here, 44 minutes, but I was really hoping that we'd get we'd go to war before I called this episode to a close. We're we're get we're, we're there, right? We're on the brink. Brinksmanship. It's probably time to build a few more destroyers. Um, we have triple tor torpedo tubes, so we are not. We're going to build this for ourselves. I mean, we're not going to build an old class. We're building a new class. There it is. Um, I still think we're going to go with the two gun, keep it, just keep things simple. Oh gosh, no. Okay, that's the one that needs to go. Yeah, I like this. Okay, that, that looks good. 
Um, we might as well try to get this up to 33 knots. Is it going to cost a lot? Ooh, it is. Okay, I'll take you down to 1400 instead. I'm pretty happy with that. Oh, this has light. <laughs> no, no good, sir. I'm sorry. You are, you are mistaken. You will not be using. <laughs> we can go to speed here. That's actually, that is enough to get us not. Okay, we'll take it. Okay, 165. That's enough. This is good. Nine torpedoes. 33 knots. Probably are going to sit at 1400. Nobody's telling us we can't do that. I think it's not right, but... We could have got away with it, but I, I decided not to. Uh, I don't really want them. This is not going to be my anti-aircraft submarine or destroyer. In fact, I think because I'm, I'm not really... I haven't been correctly processing the... Um, the anti-aircraft stuff. We're at 80% technology. Things are gonna happen a lot slower for aircraft. We don't need anti-aircraft yet, especially on destroyers which aren't likely to survive long enough to see the war. I mean, the war with aircraft. No K-guns. There are some some serious areas where we're lacking technology-wise. I, I didn't, I'm a little bit surprised to see Japan this far behind. Two options as I see it. Five goes down to 4.8. Goes down to, so five goes down to 4.2. That is a pretty sizable reduction in cost. 16%, well, let's call it 15% reduction in cost. Just to go down one knot, which is 3% slower. 4% maybe. No, 3% from 33. I think it's worth it. We are not in the business of building. Uh, we don't need the, the 30 knots is fine. Let's just do this. I also like the 17 tons better. I don't know, why would we don't, what are we gonna do with that weight though? We don't really need it. Can always get conning tower armor. You never know. <laughs> Why not? Okay, we'll take it. By all means. Oil firing. Computer bomber, yes, we'll take it. Okay, well, maybe. Wow, the range on our torpedo bomber is so good. In fact, it's just better in every way except for one tiny not slower and I don't think I care about that so we'll, we won't build it we won't take it go to the build screen we'll take six well I'm gonna bring this episode to a close it turns out we're not at war yet but I'm pretty sure we will be soon I won't be using my trump card in fact one of the things that I was thinking about off cameras, it's probably a good time to use it right after the end of a war. Just immediately, as soon as the British can recover, we are just ready to go. Especially if it just so happens that, like if this war ends up taking 16 months, we wait like three months, get these gotcha moochies out, and then declare war right away. So we'll see how it all goes though. Until the next episode, thanks for watching and take care.